Hi, this is Vamshi Dande. Welcome to Graphics Vidya. Hi friends. Uh, today I would like to discuss about uh, After Effects. Okay. Um, Adobe After Effects 2024. Adobe After Effects is a digital visual effects and motion graphics and compositing application developed by Adobe Systems. So Adobe has designed and developed by completely a Adobe After Effects application for a digital platform. In this digital platform, we can work for visual effects, VFX platform for post-production, like movies. They work with movies actually, that we call as motion graphics, okay. But some sometimes they use some visual effects like to creating some uh, text animations, logo animations, and to creating some composting of uh, using with 2D and 3D layers, and like that. And we can work with this After Effects to creating rotoscoping, key composting, animation, these are the concepts we can work with Adobe After Effects. And um, Adobe systems are used in the post-production process of filmmaking. Uh, when we working for move, when we working for movies that we call as post-production. Uh, like if we are working for any Hollywood movies or Bollywood movies that we call as post-production. And come back to the uh, like um, video games and televisions uh, uh, production. Uh, in the video games also we use this After Effects. And television production also we use this After Effects. And main thing the After Effects can be used for keying, rotoscoping, composting and animation. Okay, these are the concepts we can cover in Adobe After Effects. Let's go with the animation. What is animation already explained in the previously in Premiere Pro? A simulation of movement created by displaying a series of pictures or frames. Okay, a series of a displaying a series of pictures or frames already explained in here recently. So this we call as a so this is the series okay like this the animated stops will be run so this is the frame one frame second frame third frame fourth frame fifth frame like that the frames will be calculated that we call as a series of pictures movement created by a series of pictures or frames that we call as Animation. Cartoons on television is one of the example of animation. There are many software applications that enable you to create animations that you can display on a computer monitor. So many applications we have to creating this type of animations. Uh, so we have different type of applications also guys. Okay. And come back to the frame rate. It is also known as a frame frequency and which an amazing device displays consecutive images is called frames. I told you know the image this way it displays consecutive images means the relevant images. The series of images we call as frames. Name under with me, frames under frames. Okay. And the frame rate of your composition should be based on upon your panel. So what the what the frame rate you are taking, that the same frame rate will be uh, when you're taking with a composition with the starting time, the same composition frame rate will be working with your final output. Manam a composition this kuna puru. Photoshop lay in this kuna document this kunta. Are the premier pro in this kunta manam sequence this kunta? Sequence. If you this call man, composition this call. In this call, here we have to take as a composition. In in Photoshop, we can create a document. In Premiere Pro, we can take a sequence. And here we have to create a composition. And what the composition you are taking, the same composition frame rate will be the final output. Final output also you will be get the same composition frame rate only. Miru, starting with this composition, a frame rate each other, frame rate me final output logo, are they frame rate each you are outputting your video for televisions for the PAL video format. You must use a frame rate of 25 frames per second. So, for televisions, for PAL, we have two types of standard uh, codes, video modes, video codes. One is PAL and second one is NTSC. PAL used for frame rate 25 frames per second. And NTSC has a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second. And the frame rate of film is 24. This is for uh, this is for uh, frame rate of films. We can take it for twenty four frames, and this is for national television coder companies. We can go with the uh, like uh, broadcastings like that. Okay, but video for format modes will be PAL. Phase alternating line. Europe and Indian using PAL for movies and televisions of video formats. Twenty four frames for movies and twenty five frames for 
televisions. NTS, International Television Standard Code and Committee. In, in USA, we use uh, USA, Canada, Mexico, Japan. This video format will be used 29.97 frames per second, approximately 30 frames per second, guys. Okay, these are the video formats of After Effects. Okay, this is the base, uh, base command of Adobe After Effects frames. Okay. So let's take with the composition interface, guys. Okay, just we'll see the interface today. User intros come to the After Effects application. So select the After Effects this one, guys. Select this one and close this one. And this is the interface, guys. And this interface will work on. This is the characters and libraries and paragraph and this is the timeline this is the timeline and this is the importing panel project panel this is the timeline and this is the importing panel this is the layer panel this is the layer panel timeline this is the importing panel and this is the source monitor and client monitors viewers composition area this is the composition area and this is the effect controls guys and we can take we can see that uh, paragraph palettes, libraries, characters, and there is a default. This is a default window. It will be like this. It's loading. One second. Yes. Make it with standard mode. This is the basic standard mode. And we have the a toolbox here. This is the a default uh, interface, guys. Okay. And we can take a compositions here. Just take a new project here. And click the composition. Okay, so or otherwise make it new composition, and there is a shortcut for new composition will be Control N to create a new composition. And this is the new composition, and area will be 1080 by 1920 will be the full HD. This we call as full HD, or we can take it as a 1920 by 1080. Make it the aspect ratios like this also. You can use the aspect ratios from this one square pixels and make it with frame rate what is the frame rate we are using for televisions 25 frames per second for televisions and everything and this is the uh, time, time code guys and the duration will be hours minutes seconds and milliseconds or frames it we count as a frame and what is the frame 25 frames per second after completing 25 frames automatically it will be changed okay suppose here we have a HD TV, it's 25 frames per second. And we have here the presets. Come to the Paul Deaver TV. This is our old, uh, if you see the 10 years before or 15 years before, uh, 10 years before, 2010 uh, before, you can see there is no Android TVs. There is no plasma TVs. There is only the a small uh, TVs like a C, like CRT monitors. Our path TV is not CRT monitor style is not like BP, BPL, Onida, like that the channel, the TVs will be there, okay. In that TV frame rate will be 720 by 576 only. That screen size will be 720 by 576 only, right click. But now the market is working with completely HD. Complete HD. So come to the, here you can see the, this is. And after coming to the displays, uh, based on our screen monitors, okay, our screen monitors will be like mainly 1360 by 768, 1366 by 768. After that, it came for 1920 by 1080 will be the full HD. Okay, it's full HD. In in this one also, we have we can take as a digital video only, like why means HD TV only, high definition video only. Like we have uh, 1920 by uh, 1440, 1920 by uh, 1550. Like that, we have a different sizes. You have to understand that the display series actually, the display model sizes, and what are the presets we are using. And Paul Deven, Deven, digital video. TV means digital video. And uh, the, the, the cassettes and tapes will be there. Okay. And come to this one NTSC, or Paul Deven TVs, and HDB, see 1440 by 1080. And go with the HDTV, 1280 by 720. After next level, okay. 
So HD TV will be 24 frames, 19 to 2 by 1080. HD TV will be 19 to 2 by 1080 and 25 frames per second. It's mini HDs. And sir, when we see the movies like 70 mm, 70 mm movies will be 2K. What is that? 2K film 2K 2048 by 15. 56. This will be the 2K and we have a large screen that we call as film 4K. So nice thing, the things will be there and I'm just stating with the HDTV 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate will be 25 frames per second and the resolution. How the resolution, how the quality will be there. If you import any footages or import any images then what will you do? You can keep the resolution full and you have to open it and you have to click it composition and if you want to change any color just click it take the color this is composition so again we can see the composition this is the new composition and we can change the composition settings here again we have a composition with composition settings click it here and I want only the black background means you can take the black back again so like this we can create our interfaces and creating compositions and when you click the composition automatically you can see here the uh, the composition area and here we have the to fit it you can fit the area or otherwise you can make it as a 25 uh, size or 50 pixels percentage and 100 percentage it will be the output size okay so make it fit and what are the resolution it's full means you can take it full or third or the quality full quality uh, second quality, third quality and fourth quality. Okay, means if you if you are doing a project, it's almost uh, one hour of project. So it is it is taking a lot of time to move the timeline. Okay, then what happened? You have to you have to put into third quality and you have to move it. Miro, okay, footage work just now. That one hour means just now. That one hour footage only. Work just now footage. Kani a quality ki man this no quality footage just ki chala buffer ho tundi. Loading a good time. So, for my rangers and the quality, you can take the chassis. Okay, so when we are working any project here, it's taking a lot of time to move the timeline, means taking the loading of quality. So, then we can decrease the quality and just we can move it. I'm not giving the quality for the output, I'm just keeping as a low quality uh, to buffer it, to buffer it and to move the timeline base. After that, after that, when we keeping into the Rendering process like output process, then we have to keep it as a full only. Okay. So this is the things, guys. And this is the transparency grid. Background and transparency grid. And this is called we call as a previews. The first preview will be the we have to keep it off. Adaptive resolution wireframes will be the uh, the preview model, but we always keep it as a off only. Okay. And this is the title safe, action safe frame. Okay, when you're taking any title. To work with the title projects, you have to keep it the your title come come into this space only inside of the area. Okay, outer area is not there, but we can keep the outer area as a background, and this is the safe margin of the inner area to keeping the titles and subtitles and logo animations also. Okay, understanding proportional grid. If you want proportional grid, you can keep it, but no need to leave it. If you want to remove this one, remove this one and make it grid grid option in the uh, composition. So, in particular basis only, it will be work, guys. Okay. And if you want to keep it as a rulers, just keep it as a rulers and you can take the guidelines. And click it share. And if you want to remove this one, guides, you can remove it. And rulers also, you can remove it. Okay. And when you're taking any project, it will be a red channel, green channel, or alpha channel. And working with a complete RGB channel. So, that will be. We can see in the work area. Okay. Suppose when you click it here, make any footages. So take any. Select this one.
you just take the footage and this is the i told you this is the importing panel this is the importing panel and this is the layer panel and this is the timeline panel okay and select this one and this is completely a image so there is no starting point and there is no ending point by means if the video is there means it is a three seconds video the starting point and ending point we can see in the three seconds but this is the image the image there is no starting and ending if you want to split it and you can split the area like this okay and like this we can import the images now you can see the alpha channel blue channel alpha channel white area and come to the again red channel and this is you can take a just you can reset the composition area we can reset it make it fit you can fit it the area just taking the snapshot okay snapshot on the completely uh, the relevant uh, uh, composition area so come to here maybe we need slow it i don't know but anyway it will be as a screen this will be a screen so like this we can snap it as a shot okay so this is the area guys okay and this is the only interface we just explaining you okay this is the explaining or uh, we just explaining the user interface of the after effects okay just this is the after effects interface to taking the compositions frame rates timeline and importing panel and compositions okay and everything we can see this is the toolbox and these are the a palettes okay and please be practice uh, please be practice on this particular composition guys okay thank you this is vamshi tande as a senior graphic and ui ux designer please contact 9030913 and 914 or please visit our institution in amirpet friends okay